Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group. So at this point, it's no secret that the coronavirus is changing the way that people are doing business, not only around the world, but of course, especially in the United States. Um, over the last approximate about, I would say since this past Sunday, today being Wednesday, I've probably received almost about 27 calls from different people that are in a constructive panic mode of trying to figure out how to get the right type of phone system, specifically voice over IP in place so that they can empower themselves and their staff to be able to work from home, you know, in the quiet and comfort and safety of their own home and still be productive and also interconnected as a legitimate company that has the ability to collaborate with, you know, staff, employees and, you know, team members, as well as transfer calls back and forth and things like that. So yesterday I got an email from Ring Central, one of the many voice over IP service providers that we represent, basically saying that they were going to be doing a webinar today that was going to be talking about how the Ring Central voice over IP platform empowers businesses to be able to not only work from home, but work from anywhere with the appearance of still being a, you know, a single, you know, missioned company that you know can still be able to communicate together and solve problems and meet their clients needs so let me make myself a little smaller here so basically the webinar that i was invited to which is here is called the new normal work from home and remote employee enablement um, it's going to start up here in a few minutes and then i'm going to let these folks talk so you guys can watch but in this webinar what they are basically saying that they're going to cover is they're going to talk about how the ring central platform can uh, basically, they're going to talk about how a, a business or an individual business, so you could be a small business or you could be a little bit larger business, how you can establish a work and learn from home program for your, um, for your staff. They're going to talk about how they basically ensure client communication and continuity across the entire company, regardless of where people are, location, or whether they're in the office or at home. Um, they're also going to talk about how the Ring Central platform helps ensure customer experience continuity, meaning um, for those of you who may or may not know, I work from home. I've always worked from home for 15 years, but um, I've also had staff that uh, we, we've had an office at one point. I've had staff that has worked in uh, Richmond, Virginia, which is where we're based out of, as well as in other states. But we've always maintained the appearance of being a professional version of rich technology group and all being connected and able to work together as a team, regardless of our location, you know, in the world or in the United States. So um, they're going to talk about that. And they're also going to talk about how you, how ring central provides um, people with a hassle free experience to limit disruption and uh, disruption and stress while they're working from home or wherever it is they may be working. So anyways, I'm going to pause this video and then I'm going to restart it when this um, webinar starts. Uh, for those of you who are watching this, if for some reason after watching this, you're interested in the Ring Central platform, remember, I represent Ring Central as many as well as many other voice over IP service providers in the United States. My service is free. I can get you the best possible pricing and custom quotes on Ring Central better than if you typically went direct. Um, my service is free. So if you're interested in Ring Central service, would like to learn more, see a demo or get information on pricing, let me know and um, I'll be more than happy to work with. Um, so the, the title of our presentation today is The New Normal, <laughs> Work From Home and Remote Employee Enablement. And, you know, just couldn't even um, imagine, you know, a month ago that we would be, you know, this would be the new normal. So we want to make certain that we're, we're really helping our partners and our customers, you know, navigate through um, all of the changes that are happening. But one of the things that you can kind of start out with a little bit of a story is that this is not the first time you know, Ring Central has had to work through this type of navigation. You know, um, we started early with Yaman China, you know, back in January and February when our workforce was really critically impacted. And um, I'm going to use a saying that my friend Sam Thompson uses. She says, you know, of course, you know, here at Ring Central, we eat our own dog food. <laughs> and I can't say it nearly as great as she does. But basically what that means is we use our own product. And so that really helped you know, take all of those employees in Yaman, China and help them work remotely very quickly. We were able to pivot. Everybody stayed, stayed safe. Everybody stayed healthy. You know, they were able to use their own product from home. And um, really, you know, when you had to pivot very quickly, 
um, the the Ring Central office product was just absolutely perfect. And so, you know, we having this experience and going through it at an early stage, you know, is really helping us to prepare. But one of the things I also wanted to share too is I was having a very interesting conversation with Nate, who sits in front of me here at the office. And one of the roles he played at his previous um, work was he was like a business continuity and crisis management leader. And as we had our conversation going, you know, one of the sayings that they would always, you know, posted was, you know, what if tomorrow morning you woke up and what would the impact, impact be to your company if no one could show up at the office or didn't have the tools to really stay fully connected? And how ironic that conversation was, you know, three, four weeks ago that we were having um, and then what's happening today. And so, you know, being that leader, you know, that business continuity leader and crisis management leader now um, is really imperative. And that's as a partner, you know, that's where your trusted advisor, you know, um, being that trusted advisor for your comp for your uh, customers is really coming into play, helping them with remote team messaging and the highest of quality video, HD quality video and cloud-based phone systems, you know, that they can use everywhere that we can actually set up and able, enable them within minutes. They have enough stress with their kids being at home and, you know, trying to figure out um, life outside of, you know, inside of four walls, how are we really going to help them stay connected? And that's what, you know, we're here to do today is really strive together for that. Um, one of the things I really want to mention here is, you know, as people are either scrambling or thinking about, you know, remote working, and we're seeing this with schools and um, just really all businesses, is really going with a leader in this space um, making certain that you've got a, a company that's been doing this for a long time, you know, that's a trusted leader. Um, we're also seeing the fact that uh, a lot of these companies felt like that they could handle the bandwidth and they're not able to actually do that um, product, you know, in a great productive manner. So make certain that they're going with this leader and that's where we can provide that. But also we want to let them know is that we want to help today right now. So we've got an amazing offer, you know, get Ring Central free for three months. And in that little chat box or Q&A, how many of you are aware or raise your hand if you're aware of this particular promotion? Love to see some hands raised. Say in the Q&A. Chat. Yes, I've got it. Perfect. Thank you so much. If you are aware that this is happening now, if you're just seeing this for the first time, fantastic. We want you to know that it's here. But for three months, um, any new nonprofit, education K through 12, healthcare industry customers impacted, you know, by the COVID-19 or coronavirus, they get free access to Ring Central Office for three months. Um, of course, this technology is going to have their video meetings. It's going to have messaging, phone, everything that they have today. No strings attached. So what we want to make certain is that if you have any questions about this, you're interested, you want more information on um, this particular offer, please, we want you to reach out to your channel managers. If you're, you know, um, if you're not sure who that channel manager is, you know, reach out um, to um, in, definitely any one of us. We'll make certain that we've got, to, we've got you covered with this. Perfect. You're aware. That's fantastic. So we want to get um, these tools into our customers' hands as quickly as possible so that they can continue, you know, working as business as usual. So are you excited about this offer? Give me a yes. Woohoo! Or hands up. I see lots of the chat going on in the chat box. Yes. Good. <laughs> I like it. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. So we want to make certain that whatever we're providing, I love the yeses, they just keep rolling through here, is we've got something for, for both our internal employees, you know, that cloud PBX messaging and video, but we've also got something for our external customers, um, making certain that they have that entire solution, not just video, but um, Tus is going to talk just a little bit more about, you know, how the product is really going to be that overall help, you know, for all of our customer needs, you know, outbound, digital, and inbound services. So Tus, I'm going to let you talk about that in just a minute, but just really having um, everything from AI to analytics global and that open API platform is really uh, robust and helpful for customers. So here's four key considerations. 
you know, that our customers need to take um, into consideration is really that their employees are going to need to learn how to work and learn or and or learn from home. So students is impacted as well. We really want to make certain that we're ensuring client um, communication continuity and that the customer experience stays up and running and also has continuity. So we need to provide employees with really hassle-free experience, you know, to limit that disruption and stress that's going on. So Toos, I think I've got you next. He's going to go into greater detail as to how we can help our customer base with this. My friend, it's all yours. Thank you, Paula. Thank you very much. And thanks everyone for joining us this morning. I know these are heady times and uh, we really appreciate you taking the time in your busy day to get informed. And I think that's the key point, right? You are the trusted advisor, your customers, your clients are gonna turn to you um, for direction and for consultation as to what do we do? How do we do it? Uh, the big picture here is that we've got an unprecedented change in work behavior. Um, yes, we've talked about working from home since the inception of our company, but never in this type of environment where you have Fortune 500, mid-size, SMB companies, schools, universities, all having staff and workers and contributors working in a home environment and all at the same time. So uh, this isn't an environment where you just have one person at home while everyone else is at school. Just like this picture depicts, you've got, you know, Junior here perhaps uh, taking a class or um, playing a game, and then you've got um, mom or dad or someone else in the household, all trying to get work done in um, that under the same roof. So this is this is um, you know a new normal, and this is a changed playing field. And so what we want to do here at Ring Central is empower you as a trusted advisor to help them. And the first step in doing that is to help people get informed. It's all about information. Um, you know, underneath that uh, imperative is, um, as, as, a, as a primary consideration, helping everyone stay safe, helping them work in a healthy environment while they're uh, empowered to still get their work done in a seamless way with a very simple solution. So I would love to just spend all this time talking about why um, Ring Central is the greatest thing since sliced bread and all the power of the software. And I will get to that, but I'd like to touch a little bit on um, the types of resources we're bringing um, to the fore and making um, and bringing and, 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 and making available so that um, you can turn around and, um, and and speak intelligently to your customers. So if we move to the next slide, um, you know, information is key. Information is power. We've got a number of resources. We said at the top of the hour that your channel um, manager is definitely a resource you should rely on. Um, but we have plenty of online resources. And in the chat window, uh, we've posted a link to um, a, a blog, just one of many blogs that are now available at ringcentral.com. Um, we had uh, what some of our colleagues in the UK um, really lay out uh, some of the best practices on things you need to do and ways that you can help your clients get set up from a remote working environment. Um, this is the type of information that if you avail yourself of it, if you go to our partner portal, if you um, check out the blogs at ringcentral.com, you'll be able to arm yourself with information to then turn around and uh, advise your customers and clients as to what's the best way to get set up, what are the considerations that they need to think about, how do they manage this dynamic and this change in the, in the in working environment so that um, they can manage this as smoothly and as efficiently as possible. So, you know, that being said, um, let's talk a little bit about uh, some of those concerns that Paula was talking about in terms of preparing for this workforce. And if we move to the next slide, 
um, you know, there are a couple of things that you want to bring to mind before you even get to the platform. So everyone's working from home. We've got a number of people tapping into uh, that internet pipe. So you know the saying that, um, you know, if uh, the, the um, um, you're only as strong as the weakest link in your chain and your connectivity um, for your workforce and for employees is going to be um, internet access. So I think the first thing you want to do as a trusted advisor is start um, getting your customers and getting uh, employees and getting management thinking about connectivity and having everyone assess um, what exactly is their throughput and their bandwidth um, from their home environment and can they actually manage the amount of traffic that's coming in and out of that household considering the fact that they're now having instead of just one person tap into that highway perhaps two three four or more folks um, uh, accessing the internet uh, and, and we have tools available uh, to you to help them do that. But you're going to want to have your businesses talk to their employees about home internet access. Um, you're going to want to talk about um, the speeds and, and test that access. You know, you'll have peak times, just as we all know, uh, start of business, it's going to spike. Middle of the day, it might wane off a little bit, and then it'll spike up again. Uh, in the mid-afternoon, you're going to want to have an idea as to how well that uh, bandwidth can be managed throughout the day. Um, this might be an opportunity for you to bring some of the other services and expertise beyond just cloud communication software that you can bring to the fore for your customers. Maybe they want to look at an SD-WAN application or uh, hardware that can help throttle and manage the throughput of traffic so that video meetings can happen um, just as well as audio conference calls and all that traffic can be um, navigated in a very uh, efficient manner. You're going to also want to talk to them about um, things like reimbursement policies. So if they're used to these employees working at, at, in the office, 24-7, and now uh, they're going to be leveraging their own internet, or they might have to dial up their plan with their internet service provider. What are the company policies that are in place or that are being provided to help them uh, manage those added costs? These are the things you want to turn to your IT director, you want to turn to management and ask them to think about as they're communicating uh, changes in the uh, work styles to their employees. Um, you know, going beyond that, you're gonna wanna look at equipment, right? So uh, what type of gear do we have in the workplace and is everybody enabled? So, um, you know, uh, are you working from a desktop? Are you working from a laptop? Does everyone have the right power cords? Do you have surge protectors? Um, what, what headset environments are going to be required? Should you have wireless headsets deployed? Um, you know, in this instance, I'll make a plug for our software, the fact that it's a simple app and you can just download it and it's up and running off your mobile phone and it does not have to tap into someone's personal phone number can be one of the advantages that you communicate to IT and management regarding cloud communications applications and particularly Ring Central. But you're going to want to cover all these bases. You know, first it's the connectivity, um, that weakest chain uh, link in the chain, then it's your equipment, and then you get to the communications platform. So, um, you know, at, at, at at the foundational level, you're going to want to make sure that it's trusted and secure. You know those are staples of the Ring Central product line. Um, we definitely make sure that everything that we do is encrypted and secure and compliant with all security measures. And that's going to be important to not just businesses, but to uh, schools and universities um, and um, to all the other application environments that may be connected with your communications platform. Um, and we'll touch on that in just a little bit because I think integration is going to be key. 
But then lastly, I think you want to assure your customers that you have the tools available to them should they not be able to connect with you um, 24-7, right? you got a lot of customers to deal with. And if they still need access to information, let's make sure that they're working with a vendor like RingCentral that gives them plenty of tools, not only on our website, but on YouTube and uh, through blogs and through our RingCentral University. So a lot of how-to, a lot of where do I get started, a lot of just um, uh, basic information. If they can't get access to you, they do have some place to turn to uh, and they, they can still get working even if, um, even if you are uh, paying attention to um, other customers. Let's move on to the next uh, slide. You got it. So, um, you know, uh, Paula kind of gave you that, um, I like to refer it as the, uh, uh, the product atom or the product molecule. Uh, and, and we like to think of it in terms of uh, two, two uh, halves. On the right half of that is your basic employee communication tools um, that allow you to message, call, and meet all within a single application. And then on the left side, um, if you can still recall it, um, we have our customer-facing tools. And I want to touch a little bit about on the, um, on the advantages of each. Yeah, so um, we were talking about the not only the ability to stay connected from the home, but the ability to integrate with other applications within your business. So you're going to have employees who may be using Salesforce or who may be using a file sharing application like um, uh, Google Docs or Box or Dropbox or um, a CRM application or a service application like Zendesk or Zoho. It's critical that, again, you have this full product wheel um, as, as a solution to not only help people communicate and collaborate, but to also hook into these applications without having to switch from one application to another. So as your customers are turning to you, asking you what is in the ideal platform, you know, explain to them that the ideal platform is one that doesn't require you to open up multiple windows to have access to those tools. And the Ring Central application does exactly that. So um, whether you're scheduling or if you're a Microsoft house or you're a Google house or you're a multidisciplinary house, you don't have to worry about um, complications hooking into those applications. We come bundled out of the box with plugins that work with Outlook, Skype for Business, the Microsoft directory, Google, single sign-on, up to 20, 100 plus, I'm sorry, 200 plus business applications come integrated out of the box. And um, we do have an open platform and an open API. And what that means to you and your customers is they can pretty much get uh, working and work with all the applications they know how to use and enjoy to use without headache or complication. Let's move on to uh, the next slide, please. So Paula was saying a few slides earlier that there are a couple of aspects, and we talked about both halves of that product wheel or product molecule. And um, one of those halves has to do with ensuring client communication continuity. And I think um, the best way to describe this right now is um, to talk about a vertical um, that kind of drives it home. I think, um, regrettably, we're in that season uh, it's pre-tax season, right? Um, a lot of the financial advisors, consultants, lawyers, um, you know, investment planners who are used to having customers come into the office, shake hands, have face-to-face -face communications. Well, that's not going to happen anymore. We're going to have to find a way to provide that personal touch, that personal advice um, in, in a different manner. And, and you know, the situation still um, stands that if you're trying to get business or you're trying to maintain business, if you can't pick up the phone or connect with that client, you may be losing business. And so um, your communication platform is your lifeline. It has a direct correlation to um, generating revenue and continuing revenue streams even as we manage these difficult times. So 
um, having a communication platform that allows somebody to easily communicate with their clients, um, not only from a mobile phone perspective, but also from their desktop or their laptop, start with a conversation, elevate it to a video conversation, and continue that personal touch. I think these are the, the, the um, benefits and um, the, the tools that you want to express to your customers that um, really make it important for them to have a system that, again, provides one platform to do all of this activity in a very simple, efficient, and effective way. Moving, um, that Paula, did you have something you yeah, want? Yeah, I do too. So, you know, I have just kind of a real world, um, something that happened just the other day, you know, as we see here in Colorado, you know, more and more um, restrictions coming, like gems, for instance. You know, closing, I was talking with a friend and she has a personal trainer. And that was one of the first things that the personal trainer did was download, you know, the Ring Central app. Um, or get Ring Central so that they could actually use video. So they are now taking a lot of their bands and weights that are sitting now in, of course, um, of, of space that nobody's using and they're kind of renting them out or handing them out and doing that personal training, you know, now, of course, kind of like Peloton, you know, virtually so that people can stay in shape or physical therapy. I mean, there's just so many different resources or there are ways that you can think that this can be beneficial, even you know when you can't come in to see anybody. You yeah, anything? I, you know, thanks for that, Paul. And I yeah. think you know that that um, underscores the idea that you know, although there's change, it doesn't mean that um, that that level of connectivity and intimacy between um, customer and uh, the business, and 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 that goes um, not just for that. Uh, uh, tax advisor down the street. It also applies to H and R Block, right? Um, so it's it's this kind of tool that allows for um, the personal touch, regardless of size, um, that we think is a benefit not just for cloud communications, but um, I'm definitely um, when it comes to the Ring Central app. Thanks for that, Paula. Um, yeah. A great, great um, example that kind of drives it drives it home and really makes it clear. Um, so, so I mean, that's a that's a big picture depiction. But let's go back to how this translates to the various aspects of a business. Um, so we're gonna want to see how cloud communications and the Ring Central app can make it easier for every department within a business to continue doing what they need to do, whether they're client facing or not. And I think the next slide uh, kind of breaks it down. So again, you as the trusted advisor can not only drive the point home um, from a, a sales and customer perspective, but you know the inner workings of a business. How is this going to impact um, the back office, the mid office, and the front office? Let's just walk through it. You know, from uh, the sales department. Uh, you still need to engage with clients. You still need to run those demos. You still need to close those deals and, you know, get those opportunities coming through the pipeline. And now more than ever, you're going to need to find a way to engage without traveling. And having a Ring Central application that lets you start a conversation, share um, text, share files, um, and then elevate that conversation to a video um, uh, conversation, definitely a beneficial um, aspect for the sales department. Human resources, I, I can't stop um, with your hiring practices, right? Um, let's go ahead and continue those interviews. Even if someone can't come into the office, you can still continue uh, sharing documents and having those interviews Again, uh, video, video, via video meetings, and, um, and and continue hiring candidates regardless of where they're located. Marketing, um, project management is going to be key. Having the ability to still creatively collaborate, um, and you'll notice I'm bringing up the aspect of Ring Central that I think is one of one of the unsung heroes of our application the ability not only to make those conference and video calls, but to share documents. Doesn't matter what the file size is, 
Um, it doesn't matter how long you need to have it shared within what we call the bookshelf. You can go ahead and create that PowerPoint. You can share GIFs, you can share schematics. Um, you can do all of that in a marketing environment um, all within the Ring Central app and keep those marketing activities going. Support's going to be key. You know, if you have that um, bullpen of tech support, customer support folks, and again, this doesn't matter if you're a, a small retailer or a, a large Fortune 500 company, you want to use that same application and still provide that level of support that customers are going to ex, um, expect and Ring Central delivers here as well. It goes on and on from um, you know, support to engineering to professional services where you know, from a Ring Central perspective, we not only have online resources, but we have live folks who can walk your customers through and provide the training um, and, and provide the classes and give them that in-depth expertise in using the system. Um, all of that, I think, helps you turn to your customers and let them know that you have a solution that satisfies and fits every business need and every department's need. Um, I think that covers everything for this slide. Let's see what we have coming up next. Should we take some questions? I know we have a bunch right now. Um, yeah, of, let's do that. A lot of them are concerning our offer. So let's start with, um, being that many of our customers will be utilizing this pivot as a temporary solution, do we have any options for temporary service? So um, who, who wants to uh, tackle that? I think we have Joe on the call as well too. Um, is that something you want to uh, answer, Joe? I was actually doing a Q and A question, but if you, could re if you could ask that again, I can certainly address it. Sure. Do we have anything that's um, utilizing the platform as a temporary solution for our clients as this moment? Um, well, through the promo, you know, it's um, we the other customers can certainly go month to month, but uh, there's no, you know, if they do that, then they can't take advantage of the promo. The idea, the idea behind that is, is offer three months of service for free. You know, if the customer is willing to make a commitment. So, you know, if they wanted to, if they want to go month to month, they can certainly do that, but then they won't be able to take advantage of any incentivized pricing. Yeah, awesome. and I think, I, I think um, let me add to that. So there are going to be, you know, nuances to every promotion that I think every business um, puts out during these difficult times. And so I, I definitely want to encourage folks who have these types of questions to turn to their channel manager um, and, and, and address those questions there because um, our goal is to just try and keep everybody whole. You know, we have proof of concept arrangements, we have month to month arrangements. Um, and and in, in order to make sure that we address each need, you know, in the right way, I think the best person to answer that question is that um, um, partner's channel manager. But I don't know if there's anything else you want to add, Paula. Hey all, so this is Melissa. So real quick on that question, um, just so you guys know, at the end of the 90 days, the customers, they can either opt out um, or they can cancel and there's no obligation either way. So just a quick answer for that question for you guys. What else do we have um, in the queue, Devin? Um, this would be a great one for Joe. Um, there have been reports of Zoom crashing as a result of the huge volume being created by the work from home requirements. Will this be a problem with Ring Central when the load increases? Uh, you know, I mean, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to say with absolute certainty that it's not going to happen because we don't know what the environment holds. However, what I can tell you is that we do have survivability that's built into our architecture that accounts for a, a load increase on the system. So we have we have three data centers across the U.S. that are working in an active, active environment to load balance. And each and each data center operates at no more than than 40 percent capacity at any given time. So we can we can experience a full failure of a data center. And the, the two surviving data centers are able to pick up 100% of the load at no more than 80% capacity. So, you know, we have that built into the system. That's something we offer as a courtesy to our customers, you know, to provide that layer of uh, security for them so that they don't have to worry about it. There are some other providers out there that do offer survivability, but it's typically offered at a premium. And this is something that, um, 
you know, th this is something that we include as a, uh, you know, as a, as a standard practice. It's a, it's a passive feature. The customer has nothing to do as far as configuration or opt-in. It's automatically built into, into our routing uh, on the back end so that we can take advantage of it. Thank you, Joe. And are there any, maybe we can take one more, Devin, or is, is that, does that suffice for right now? And, and should we present? I think that suffices for right now. A lot of these are just really people need to get um, with their channel manager to answer specifics on the promo. So yeah, you so, can continue. Okay, th thanks for that, Devin. Thanks, thanks, Joe, and thanks, Paula, and thanks, Melissa. And um, let me just um, uh, repeat for anybody who's joined uh, a little late, we are recording this, so we will send out a link um, to everyone who's attended. You can go back and watch this at your leisure. And um, there are a lot of questions, so if we don't address your questions now, um, we will uh, capture these and make sure that your channel manager uh, follows up with you and, and addresses those issues. So keep those questions coming. Um, if, if, real quick, too, so if you can use the Q&A chat feature, though, that particular um, chat will record those questions better than the chat box. So if you have something that you really um, want to make certain those automatically download and record. So we'll have those. So make sure you use the Q&A. And then also in the chat feature, though, I did notice that Joe posted a link to Ring, Ring Central Network require or recommendations. So I know you talked a little bit about bandwidth a little earlier, too. So, you know, go back and take a look at that. And then I also saw where Doug was saying, um, you know, just to clarify that in, sometimes our sales teams will offer incentives to customers for free months. That is different than the actual COVID promo for free service. So just the COVID promo for free service, of course, is no commitment. Um, you know, it's, it's for those specific um, areas, you know, the K through 12 medical um, field and nonprofits. So, you know, just to know that those are two separate and very different types of promotions. Awesome. Uh, thanks for that, Paula. And uh, I, I think I have just uh, another slide or two um, uh, for, for my part of this. And I do want to make sure that we leave um, some time to go over the resources uh, that are available um, for our partners. So let me just, um, we'll, we'll power through here and talk a little bit. We, so going back to that image of the product wheel or product molecule, we've talked a lot about the uh, client experience or how employees can work with one another using audio, using text, uh, using video, using even fax, if you will, which is a part of the Ring Central app. And we have a lot of... Uh, uh, businesses and customers who still use that, particularly when it comes to financial services, taxes, and things of that nature. So all of that is part of uh, one half of the product wheel. But let's not forget that we have large businesses who have call centers and who um, need to make a lot of inbound and outbound calls. And the Ring Central solution, again, being one platform, does deliver all of this should your customers need it. So just a quick recap of some of the power behind the Ring Central solution. Um, you know, on that second half or the left half of the product um, wheel, we have what we call um, our customer experience applications, our contact center solution, and our latest Engage products, Engage Digital and Engage Voice. So if you have businesses that need to do um, a large volume of outbound dialing, predictive dialing, progressive dialing, preview dialing, call blending, all that kind of good stuff, then you're going to want to let them know that um, beyond our call message me video applications, we have tools that can address those as well. If they're dealing with a lot of inbound calls, so they've got a customer support department, large or small, and they want to make sure that they have you know, a robust IVR. They can do um, uh, a ACD and skill-based routing so that you have the fastest uh, mean times for call resolution. If it's important for them to monitor, you know, what are my hold times? You know, how many times are customers being transferred? Am I delivering the type of customer experience that our executive SLAs are mandating? 
well, then they're going to want to look to our uh, customer experience solutions like uh, Ring Central Engage. Um, all those good um, qualities, analytics, dashboards, are part again of our solution. And going, uh, you know, right to the middle column, you know, um, particularly when we look at um, retail and commercial uh, businesses, now more than ever, you, those customers are not just looking to have a chat window um, or an email or a phone conversation. We know we're in a millennial driven economy these days, and we know that millennials love using Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. How are these businesses leveraging those platforms to stay connected and to provide that level of intimacy? The Ring Central solution, our applications bundle all of that within the one platform again. So Ring Central Engage allows you to have not just someone picking up the phone, but you can dedicate agents who monitor your businesses, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, messenger feeds, and communicate real time with customers um, in order to provide that great level of customer service, even if everyone's not at the corporate headquarters. So a lot of power and a lot of flexibility and diversity in terms of what we can offer. You know, I'll, I'll double down on our open platform, the fact that we can integrate with Salesforce, Zendesk, Zoho, um, Google Drive, uh, uh, Box, Dropbox, these go a long way in making it easy for everyone within the company to use their favorite tools without having the headache or overload or learning curve that they might experience if they had to use multiple applications. And then back to that earlier question about, hey, can you manage the throughput? Um, are you, you know, robust enough to manage the, the, the workload from a customer and a traffic perspective? You know, we pride ourselves um, not only as a Gartner Magic Quadrant leader, but we service over 140 countries worldwide um, on, a, on a daily basis. So you can rest assured that of all the solutions out there, this is a very strong, robust cloud architecture. It's very secure. Uh, we've got a high quality of service. Your channel managers can give you the data in terms of MOS scores and all that um, highly technical stuff that's beyond me, but you can definitely make sure that uh, we're delivering the quality of service and the five nines reliability that um, you're gonna want to um, uh, demand and that your customers will expect from a, a world-class solution. Um, so, so that's the big picture. You've got it from both, you know, how do I make these employees happy working at home, giving them the big picture, helping them understand what they need to do. And then um, how do I make sure that my clients know how to service their customers in a, in a, in a, in a seamless way? Um, I'm going to just touch on one more slide and I think I'm turning it back over to Paula and that will give us some time to address some of the resource questions. But I'll, I'll just, uh, you know, um, reiterate and double down on the fact that this is all about trying to keep your employees engaged and you being a trusted advisor to really help your clients um, have a hassle-free way. I think if there's one thing you want to take away from this, it's about simplifying and, and reducing that fear factor, um, letting them know that you've done this before, you know the things that they need to consider and what to think about, you have the resources, you have the tools, um, and, and, and the ultimate goal here is to make life easy for those, for the front line that's um, really keeping the business running. And that means giving a hassle-free, limited disruption, stress-free environment for um, employees to go ahead and communicate and collaborate. 